I don't think a lot of people realize that I can't ski unless I'm taped, to, like the grips are taped to me. She doesn't have the muscle that allows her to like grip her poles. I have five fingers, I don't have a thumb. I have this joint and this joint, but I don't have that third joint. And so we go through a taping process that allows her to be able to control the poles better. So when I ski, I'm not actually gripping my poles, it's open hands, and I'm using more of my lat and my tricep. Fair. Just one more. Once I start something, I can't quit. My favorite quote is by Coco Chanel, and it's to be irreplaceable, one must always be different. And that was my high school quote in my yearbook. I clinched onto it so hard because that was the moment I realized my differences are the reason why I am an athlete. Sports was that physical thing that was really able to show me what my body could do still. All right, Dan, you can go left three. I would describe Oksana as very fierce. She is an unbelievable athlete. She's really detail-oriented, an incredibly hard worker. She will not give up. Oksana Masters is an athletic anomaly. Oksana Masters of the United States is about to win the gold medal in the road race. I've competed in the Paralympic Games in rowing, cross-country skiing, biathlon, and cycling. Appearing in five Paralympic Games, playing four different sports, she is one of the most decorated Paralympians with four gold, three silver, and three bronze medals. I did not see myself going on to do multiple different sports. I had no idea that even existed for me and her journey isn't over. Now competing at the 2022 Paralympic Games, Oksana hopes to bring home gold in the challenging sport of biathlon. And biathlon, it's a love-hate relationship. Biathlon is you ski a lap, you stop, approach the range, and you hit five shots. You hit all your targets, you ski your other lap. The one thing our sport does not count for with classification and factors is hand dexterity. And I'm missing like a whole lot. And so I have to work twice as hard in the range for my shots. Oksana's transition from rowing to biathlon was no easy feat. One that wouldn't be possible without a coach like Eileen Carey. Where are you planning on skiing? I don't know. Like, I haven't been here since, like, they were not able to groom anywhere, so I don't know what's really groomed. And I would not be a 10-time Paralympic medalist if it wasn't for Eileen. Thank you. Yep. She applies things from other sports, and so I think, without a doubt, having multiple sports is a benefit. It's pretty special when you find a coach that really knows you and knows you without needing to talk to you to know what's going on, and that's kind of like our relationship. Eileen was instrumental in Oksana's transition, but adapting to the new environment didn't come without its pitfalls. I recognized her talent quickly, and also she had to work at it. The first five minutes we went out on snow, she skied up to the top. In the sit ski, you can't stop. There's no just breaks. You can't just like snow plow. Before I gave her any instruction on how to go down the hill, she just took off. Of course, I just go off the course because Tasmanian devil just like rolls off and does it in the most aggressive way possible. It was just kind of an esker of snow with jagged rocks. <laughs> and so I remember asking Eileen, like, well, this is fun. And then there's a downhill. I'm like, well, how do I stop? And she launched herself off into this rock pile. She was not very happy about that and got up and immediately did it again. It was very clear that she had the mentality and that she was going to make it happen no matter what. She could have told me how to stop. <laughs> Oksana's ambitious nature stems from a lifetime of hardships. Born in Ukraine, she experienced radiation poisoning linked to the tragic events of Chernobyl in 1986, resulting in the amputation of both legs at a young age. When my mom adopted me, I was seven and a half. I was basically dying. She literally saved my life, and that's why when I say she's my hero, she 
is my hero. Oh my gosh, I want to say hi to my family. Hi, Mom! I just love you so much. It doesn't mean that it's awful. There are good things that can come out of things too. And instead of just focusing on that, just seeing like, focusing on more of like, what good can come from that too. I'm 32 years old right now, and it took all of 32 years to get comfortable with it. I don't think a lot of people realize that I can't ski unless I'm taped, to, like the grips are taped to me. She doesn't have the muscle that allows her to like grip her poles. I have five fingers, I don't have a thumb. I have this joint and this joint, but I don't have that third joint. And so we go through a taping process that allows her to be able to control the poles better. So when I ski, I'm not actually gripping my poles, it's open hands, and I'm using more of my lat and my tricep. Fair. Just one more. I think every single Paralympic coach is incredible because they are coaching on a whole nother level of things. It's ultimately an exercise in figuring out how each individual athlete operates best. We are here to, to help them and to pull together a lot of different puzzle pieces. And her hard work will pay off at this year's games when she finally completes the initial goal that sparked the flame. Beijing in 2008, Summer Games, was the one I missed. And so I feel like it's coming full circle from the start of my Paralympic career and my kind of like redemption of to try and make it back to Beijing better than I would have if I was in 2008. We want people to know that they can be athletes and it doesn't matter if they walk with crutches or use a wheelchair or have an amputation. Every single person has a story and has a perspective that they can bring to the world. You should be able to see yourself in all the fields, whether you are a Paralympic athlete, whether you are a doctor, you should be able to sit at a table and your voice should be heard and that ripple effect being made for the generations behind you. Mm -hmm.